Uh, see. Is that the local league? No, no, and especially not the boys, because obviously they uh, they have the taste in the mouth of that last ball where Cordero won that that race, and obviously he could have scored. Would have would have been fair, no. Uh, but uh, they, he still could could have, could have scored, and obviously we weren't clinical and we we didn't have a lot of shape. Uh, so the, they're pretty disappointing of their performance, but they don't—they just don't realize how how hard it is to play against the All Blacks, uh, being drained emotionally and physically. Difficult start of the week, and uh, and play against a, a, a fresh Australian team who had the week off and had a great game plan and and had all the opportunities and the ball during I don't know 80% of the game or 70% of the game. So, yeah, uh, the, 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 the first emotion that, that I have is being proud of the boys. That, that's the, that's the, the biggest one. What was your read on the ball this game, like? Me? Mm. Well, uh, the, first, the first three lineups were really quick and they went wide, wide. And, well, they, they were trying to tire us out and, and I thought it was working. I thought it was working and uh, they had a, a, a couple of tricks from first phase that uh, were really creative too, and uh, put 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 us uh, under a lot of pressure. But again, the boys just hung in there. They hung in there, and uh, yep. What's your what's your take on the game plan? A draw. <laughs> yeah. You guys have two games to go. The other two, one each. Do you feel like you're in control of your own destiny now? Look, the first the first thing that that we should do is recover. Uh, that's because obviously uh, we haven't played in, in, a, in a long while and uh, going back to back, uh, it's been really, really hard and especially with, a, with the same players. So we, we have to assess that today with uh, the SNCs, physios, doctors, and we have a, yeah, a lot of niggles uh, in, the, in that changing room. So uh, that's, that's the main thing now, just recover and, and see, see how we, we go from here. I think the the first thing I must say about Hoji is that he's he's playing really well in a very difficult position. Uh, he came from nowhere; no, nobody was expecting him, and he he won one against the All Blacks and could have won today. Yes, he missed that 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 last one, but uh, I, I thought he was really good, really good. Then that, that's. Uh, that's the thing about the kickers. He missed that one. He he's lost a couple a couple of other ones, and, and Nico Sanchez is is walking on water at the moment. Pablo, there was an incident I think, in, the, was it in the first half where he lost his wide pool around his head. Can you give that just a bit of context? Do you have to talk about it a little? Yes, I think there was a lot of uh, slapping and not necessary discussing or fighting. It's not a real fight, but a, we, we don't want to play that, that type of game. Uh, we had similar situation la last match. We, we trust in our defense, we trust in our system. We, we don't need n nothing of that, so we're just going to keep on doing the same. We, we, we don't want to get inside that, that, that type of of things in the game, we need to keep our 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 team focused, really focused on what's coming next, what's coming next all the time, and and not getting into into little fights that, that are not gonna give us anything at the end of the of the game. Thank you. Mario, yes. Ah, uh, we 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 needed to put uh, a little bit of a score pressure. Because they were they, they were having a lot of opportunities and uh, and we knew that maybe but well, we knew or maybe it's not that but uh, if we score some points they were they, they, they would get nervous because the the difference I I thought should have been more than that so whenever and and it showed from from that penalty when we got 59 yeah the momentum I I, I thought it shifted a little bit. Mario, how much did it help having Michael Chirka this week preparing and knowing he knows the world so well? 
Yeah, look, I, I thought it was awesome. Like the, this last month with him, uh, Pablo, he can talk about it better than me, but uh, he's been awesome. Like even this morning, he went out training with uh, the boys that, are, that were outside of the 23. And uh, he's been really connecting with, with all of the boys and giving them confidence and stuff. I, I don't think that there's has been any anything special about about this week because well the, there's another staff in charge of the Wallabies now and uh, they're not playing the same way obviously um, so he can he can say some stuff about that player or that player but it's more like crystal ball stuff then you have to confirm it on on the day but he's he's been incredible with us yeah No, <laughs> no, he's not very good. But not, not, when when I was in that box, I'm 40. Sometimes was there. Ah, uh, we were all lousy singers, especially Larkham. <laughs> he was, and and he and he he would sing the loudest. He was even worse. As you sing. Ah, uh, not not very good. Not very good. Um, it's, it's obviously a tough block for you guys to win another couple of games. But look, we uh, again we we're gonna recover tonight and, and think very carefully how we we are moving forward. What what, sorry, what, what do you think is gonna are you just gonna have to change that personnel a little bit to try to get some fresh bodies? But I like I like the perseverance. I like the perseverance. <laughs> that uh, you put it on another way, but uh, um, look again we will assess that tonight and uh, but for sure there's going to be changes obviously we have injuries t tonight so from then on uh, I don't know how many but there's no that we need a, a freshen up just on the on the wallabies did you think that you could feast on their mistakes and the inexperience of the side uh, I again I, I thought they 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 perform they perform really well tonight, uh, and they put uh, they put us under heaps of pressure. The, uh, they missed a couple of, of opportunities that, if they if they score one or one once or twice more, it would have been really hard to get back. But uh, uh, I think they're playing good footy. First visit to Newcastle. Could you see yourself coming back here for more Test rugby? There is a Newcastle in the periodista. Yeah. I don't know why we didn't come earlier. It's a lot nicer than Sydney and <laughs> not so loud and big city. I, I like it here. It's really calm and it's a beautiful place. Here you go. Sí, obvio. El el Nada, con la convicción del equipo, sobre todo, eh, eso rescato. La verdad que lo dije antes, fue un, una semana muy difícil físicamente y emocionalmente. Hasta el martes eh, se los veía bastante cansados. Después logramos conectar mejor después del, del, día, del día libre. Pero, pero bueno, cuando vemos lo, los errores dentro del partido, las pelotas perdidas o la, la performance por ahí del line y demás, eh, siempre iba a ser un partido difícil después de... De lo que, del partido que fue contra los All Blacks emocionalmente, físicamente, iba a ser difícil jugar un partido tan exigente. Eh, pero de nuevo, hay veces que las cosas salen y a veces que no, y hay que buscar otros recursos y me parece que, que la energía de los chicos, la, cómo, cómo creen en lo que están haciendo, el compromiso que tienen es lo que, es lo que los sacó adelante.